John B. John B, what do you think? New tractor, John. And uh, every time Kevin brings up a demo here, it's fucking raining. <laughs> well, make sure you put this in. <laughs> Welcome back to Finnegan Slam and welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in this video we're going to talk about the plowing, obviously. It's the week of the plowing. If we didn't go, we would be afraid we'd miss out on something. So the weather really depended if we were going or not. Didn't really play ball on the Tuesday. The Wednesday was wet but dry and then the Thursday we said right, we'll go. So given dry overhead and actually turned out to be a lovely day. So we went down Thursday, myself and dad, and yeah, it wasn't that busy. Um, it was quite enough, which actually benefited us because you could go around and talk to the people you wanted and there was no queues or, you know, crowded areas. So it was grand, it was lovely. Another thing which people are probably more interested is, this fast track is only about seven weeks old on the farm and it is already not the newest one in the farm at the minute as we speak. The Case 260 AFS model has landed and I'll just go show you that now. So I'm just on the way to um, the potato field. I'm trying to cross this N2 main road if anyone knows it. Has your head turning on a swivel all the time. I'm gonna get my brake now, but I see there's a new tractor that has landed in the field with a trailer on it. All right, I'm gonna pull in here now and have a look to see what sort of tractor this yoke is. It's one I don't recognize, not one of our own. Could be one of our own in the near future, but not right now. Ho 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 ho! You just can't see anything. Hold on, I'll flip you around now. It's a new 260 AFS Puma case. Oh, she's a beaut. She is a beaut. Coming for her first load of the spuds. Will she get used to it? We don't know. We'll have to see. I noticed that. Uh, no oh, great sound, you can't even get the <laughs> steering wheel down. I noticed that Kevin Shannon, of all people, were, was in the 260. So I said, Kevin, you've obviously been in that enough. I said, get out, it's my turn to drive. So I'm just, I brought an empty trailer. I brought, I'm bringing home a full trailer. That's what I came to do, but I just swapped tractors. So yeah, it's probably, I don't know how much of it you can see. We'll go through it now when I go home, but it's a, it's a fine machine. The 1A5 causing another obstacle to me. Just a minor obstacle though. Ho ho ho. Oh, it's nice and quiet. I don't even know if it's revving or not. So yeah, first impressions. We went through the Optum a while ago when he brought that. Similar enough, new updated screen. Basically, I'm um, just updated the interior. Um, and Yes, you know it's a 260, not a 240 anyway. So yeah, as you can see, we have the new screen here. I'm gonna have to go through it. I just wanna focus on getting these 10 ton of spuds home. Uh, we're still digging the order, so we're only drawing two loads to this load, and then Kevin will bring home the 185, um, and that should get us over the weekend. It's the track that Dad was most impressed with when he went to the factory show in Austria. Um, just a whole interior model. Now I know Darren Hubble, when he went as well, he was looking at it as an upgrade for his 240 on the sower. But um, I just don't know now, Darren, will that happen for you, unfortunately. Now, I hate to tell you the truth, but look, we let, we let him dream on and dream on. But yeah, no, definitely the interior is a massive upgrade. The leather keeps the dust out of the seat, uh, easy clean. Um, comfy, very comfy. The red is nice with the red the tractor. Another point of difference from the 185, you're a bit more, you know, cramped into the 185. Plenty of space in this. Um, and that was probably one thing that the KS tractor was lacking was a bit of space. You'd go off there with a lunch bag and you wouldn't know where to put. Put it in behind the seat, it'd squish, but over to the right, it'd end up falling on your foot. But to your left, you're hopping across every time you get out, so. John B. John B, what do you think? New tractor, John. And uh, so pull up here now, I get Pat to unload them. Oh, she's just kind of rose up a little bit there. Stick her into park. So while Pat unloads the box now, look, if there's a spare forklift, I would help him. And I generally do on a Saturday, but there's just none free today. Um, my job is just to get out and level the boxes so that there's no humps and hollows in the boxes, because if there's a hump, he can drive his fork and catch them as he lifts the box or 
puts a box on top of another one and then if there's a hollow it means that the box is unlevel there could be too much weight into one side of the box so it's nice to have the box nice and water level that there's no chance of any accidents happening yeah so these potatoes now will be brought into the shed and they'll be graded and they won't be washed because they're queens and they'll be ready for action then so myself and kev here are at the harvester now dad rang me he said he had a slow puncture in the tracks but i don't think it was in the tracks was it kev no you'd so hope not, you'd hope not yeah so kev the last day put in a, a s slow puncture in air into the tire and that's why it's just it kind of has a slow puncture at the minute see i brought the fresh air I from it was supposed to bring the better air but yeah brought the fresh air, so. i brought the fresh air um so yeah we're just gonna pump her up get this kev's still here and me gone about two hours he's still here with the tractor so we'll uh get this done the harvester fully loaded, get the trailer out the gap and Kev can stop annoying me then. There you have it. So I'm joined here by the famous Alan Clark, John B and Darren Hubble. The four of us are looking out here wondering why John B has the irrigator going and it absolutely bucked in rain. Look, washing the new teddy bar as we speak. John, what's going on? John oh. just does stupid things. <laughs> <laughs> There's just not enough rain. No, it's not enough water. Where's all this rain going, John? Uh, down the drain. Down John. the drain. Right, John, what's happening, really? While the boys walk away. We're just emptying out so it won't freeze up over the winter. And we're going putting them away, aren't we? Yeah. We picked such a day to do it. But uh, yeah, myself and John here. John's going to bring the irrigator up. And I'm going to bring the engine up. Got the new 260, so we found a job for today. Yeah, we're going to get to it. I have to pick up one of the biggest machines on the farm. Now, probably should have brought the styer, but I just said I'd bring the 260. It might just pull it. Now, I probably could have put this in the back of the Jeep, but the fact I have the 260 here, I said, you know what, I'll bring it for a spin just to see what she's like. Now, obviously, we'll not be under pressure whatsoever, but. Um, I just want to bring this tractor for a drive so irrigation engine requires a drawbar so I have the pin here and I do see this on TikTok a bit now if I get this in I'm a wizard oh close but no cigar so I'm lucky enough to be joined by the famous Kevin Shannon yeah again Kevin we're here to discuss the new screen put on the 260. It's, an all, it's going to be an all the new tractor, so obviously they started in the new Optum and the Magnums yeah. and then the, obviously the Quad Tracks and then this is the new 260, but they're all going to go this way to even the 240s, 185s, every Puma is going to go the same, the same cab, big cab, let's say. Mm -hmm. So um, Yeah, because the other one was probably a bit outdated, it was kind of like the faster was, guy kind of just needed yes, a, update. And yeah, like this, a revamp. The cab is completely different, an awful lot more room and a lot more yeah. little cubby holes and all underneath the seats and behind us here and room stuff like that. Room for everything. Room for right? But um, yeah, and look, you can do a lot more. You can completely configure this joint. John! Are you alright there? Do you want a hand up? Give me a hand there, Come on, up you get. Up, 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 up. Are you bringing up, the lights to put in the back of the plow? Huh? Are you bringing the lights to put in the back of the Yeah. Of this? Well, do you see, the thing about it is. Every time Kevin brings up a demo here, <laughs> rain and <laughs> Well, make sure you put this in. <laughs> <laughs> There's a video going here, yeah. <laughs> Good, <laughs> delay it. Because see, I say he picks the weather. Yeah. But doesn't he? Yeah, I because, do, yeah. Like you own, you own, Lisa, know, you Lisa knows he's around in the yard. They jump yeah, his hand all off away. But would you put five hours on it? Would you leave three hours? Oh, you see, he's yeah. afraid we put the hours on it. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or you'd be afraid you do too much and be disappointed, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? I don't know which is which, which yeah, is more. This, that's, that's it, John. That's exactly. So, bye now. I'll see you, now, you know. John. Kevin is here to discuss basically the screen because we do plan on going playing with it. Put it up against 250. Or 250. Yeah, well, they're both, they should be both fairly. Similar. They're both made for that kind of a class. Together, yeah, they're in the same bracket. 250, 260 both of heavier axles or heavy duty frame let's say but yeah, yeah. yeah. so, so just going through the screen obviously you've all your configurable controls here yeah so i just want to figure out how to actually do that 
you can either go through the screen or if you press this button here the information button and it'll come up on your right hand side you can change all the different things so there's your configurable controls yeah so these are all your different colors so see the way we've green or red here like if you wanted to put red onto the last one you'd go to valve four and uh, one and then we go to valve one yeah so it'll change it to yeah and it'll unassign yeah. and if on the back you can see it here it's telling you like yellow oh, which green, colors are which yeah blue brown let's say yeah yeah very good very so, good um and then if you go into yeah levers there hit levers and then you can change your what your joystick does your your handle so okay, you, have a rocket, yeah. you can change whatever you want to do on them so if you had like a front press or something and yeah. so what you wanted to yeah so obviously you have one two three four five or one two three four and then five, five six seven, seven eight, eight. So that'll do all them. So obviously number five is actually set for the volume up and down of the, the red. <laughs> Not the greatest song to come on. <laughs> yeah, and then, yeah, so you can change them. Obviously, this is just on the road, so you can put it as a radio, but if you're yeah. in the field, you're gonna have something more. Well, you can actually set it to absolutely anything. Let's say it's so number five. So if you, sorry, if you hit that. So you can go display, remotes, engine, front suspension, guidance, oh hitch God, management, yeah. lights, media, everything. Then you can is, yeah. change everything, let's say. So. Yeah, so if you had your remote set. Yeah. So one, rear one, confirm, and then number six would be. Would have to be the opposite. Yeah. So you need a five and six there. Yeah, press it there now. So yeah, you can hear it. Yeah, yeah. Hear it going obviously. So you can change now. all that around, let's say. Yes, to suit obviously what yeah. you're doing. And yeah. then you can obviously... You can set them buttons as well, yeah. So if you go, yeah, uh, it's on multifunction handle, yeah. And there you go, yeah. Haha. Mm -hmm. So you, yeah, it's a pair, so you have to do... Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which remote you want it to do or whatever, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they'll only do remotes, whereas These the rest of them will do whatever. You can turn up and then the radio, the heater, your phone, whatever you want to mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. So... And then this that's here... That's for changing your tre presets. So you have oh, three 16, presets. 16, so the way you used to have a button, yeah. and then you forward reverse here, and that's your scroller, yeah? Yeah. I was even saying to click the buttons, and they're nicer. Yeah, it's, it's a nicer feel. Yeah. The other ones yeah. were a bit too small, and you had to and push, push right them in. in it was yeah, like, whereas yeah. that one's a nice job, yeah? Yeah, and then obviously your always steer yeah, button, which is coming button. more common, so yeah. it deserves the big button. Yeah, and then you have a headway management button as well, if you have oh, a secret. Oh, okay, so you have it set up. the HMC3 on this, it says you can set it fully, that yeah. she'll do everything for you. It's a good job. And then if you want to just, uh, put all your things up, see it there, all oh, your, how, your yeah. bits and pieces, so like it'll actually tell the exact fuel is in this 244 litres, like, <laughs> so, for the lads that are running it low, like, yeah, they want to know what's in it, or I forgot to tell you or your dad that they mm. need a diesel the next day, and or something then like that. Oh no, no, oh, it just, the lever just happened just to fall Come down, down you know, yeah. and I don't know, I was watching it, but no, yeah. it just fell down, now no diesel, the usual. Yeah. Um, it's not going to happen, but um, the button star as well. That's a new one. Um, yeah, she's remote locked as well, so she is. Yeah. Yeah. It's the first Kino I've seen her yet. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Lock and lock and lock. Yeah. Which is a good job too. It's just safer because. Ah, yeah, but it's just it's a it's a a mobilizer key. Let's mm. say so. Yeah. Good job. But a lot of that stuff is the same. Like you have your aggressiveness there. Yeah. There are your two presets for your revs. Yeah. Say. Engine revs. Yeah. Your split throttles. So. A lot of the stuff, a lot of lads that have driven the cases will know, like so. Yeah. That's just if you're smart key, let's say, yeah. We've got the run through the tractor now. Now it's time just to put her to the test. Right, yeah. yeah. That'd so, be good to see, like. Yeah. Just if this weather play ball, like you'd not be pulling yeah. a lot of plays in that weather. But no. it needs to be ready to rock. Anyway, I'd just like to thank Kev again for bringing down the tractor and giving us the opportunity of driving it. So just a few other things that are happening on the farm at the minute. We got a lot of slurry spread. We got Shane Callan down with his big class uh, spreader that you would have seen on previous videos this time last year. So good to get him back out and yeah, spread a lot of slurry there even in one day. So we were happy to get that done. Another few jobs that have been done is we have a few bushwhackers out. We've Eamon, Alex, Matthew and Evan uh, between the hedge cutter and the verge trimmer. The lads are going around tidying up the banks and bushes and bits of hedge that's going on. Just It all kind of just keeps all the farms tidy and then at least the hedges are nice and low. It doesn't block any sunlight and gives crops the best chance to grow in, even in along the hedge and you know, it allows it to dry that bit easier. So today we decided we go to the plane, South Paul, Mayburn here, Sister Orla, first time featured on the channel. And we're just about 
to leave here through the scotter and the muck and the slop. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we said we'd come down on the Thursday because the weather was good. Now, obviously, the weather for the Tuesday and Wednesday wasn't great. There was young lads jumping in puddles, and they'll be they'll remember that day for that reason. But um, <laughs> actually, Carl, there's more than young lads jumping in the puddle here. Look. Uh, <laughs> children, children, children. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll, uh, we went over to the band who stand. There was a new Teddy Potter um, out on demo, so we, Dad goes through that. So we're here at the band who stand, and we're joined by Anthony. Anthony has kindly come, and uh, he's going to give us a quick run through on this 850-145. Actually. Can you tell us what all this stands for here? It's not a lot of numbers, not a lot of letters. There is. We'll do it quickly, nice and simple though. So we've got an M for Manitou, an L for a loader, and a T for telescopic. 850, 8 metres, 5 tonne, 145 horsepower, and a V plus transmission. So plenty of, uh, that's a yes. good explanation of what it is. The, this model here is slightly, you know, is targeted for a yeah. different kind of a, yeah. a market, isn't it? Uh, it's, while it's a big machine, it's a compact machine. Yeah. So it's a big handling machine we have here. It's a new unit in our XL range that we do. It's designed for high capacity, high volume. You can see by the size of the boom, it's a bit of a beast. It's designed yeah. to load a big bucket. Yeah, it is. And then we're powered by, under the hood here, we have... We have a lovely we, little Yamaha engine. Yeah. It's not that little, though. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just find the key. That's a bit badly timed. You OK there? You all right? Yeah, I got it now. Yeah, that's all right. Too many pockets in this yeah. jacket. Just by the way, we're here with mid -Low Garage, our local dealers. We have Kevin and Robert are over there in Carmack, so just give the boys a show how they're, they're floating around, but Anthony decided to take the, <laughs> to do the demo here with it. So the Yanmar, explain. So, started using Yanmar now on some of our bigger machines. We want a bit of higher power, higher torque coming from them. It's a lovely little quiet engine. What you notice when you're driving these machines, we've got the sound levels of a tractor cab in there, getting yeah. around 60 odd decibels in there. So it's a nice, smooth engine to run and operate. Going for service out of this thing, See, this is a very handy little access point here where we can actually get down and get in at the filters here. Yeah, you can get in and touch all parts of the engine if you ever need to, just even for checking on it as well. Also for cleaning out any debris, you can easily get in there, stop anything building up, causing any problems. Okay. okay. So just moving on to the cab then, Anthony, uh, it sits quite high, doesn't it? It is, a little bit higher. Gives you a little bit better visibility because we're in a bigger machine now. But we've got our XL cab, so that's slightly wider, slightly longer than most of our new AG machines. But we still have our excellent easy step to get in and out of the machine. Okay, so we we open the cab here. I just noticed two little handy features here, yes. and these are for that's not, up, climbing, that's not necessarily for getting into. No, nope, it's not for your kids to get in and out generally. It's for if it's on, yeah. on a lorry, gives you a little grab handle to get in and out of. Which is very safe. handy, yeah, yeah, yeah. because sometimes on a low load that you can't yeah. get up to grab that, it's too high. So yeah. that's, there was one there, yeah, and yeah. another one here, as yeah. we see. Now, in the cab, again, Manitou can always keep this uh, easy yeah. step yeah. to get into, which is, yeah. we have another step on this one. I'm afraid so, because we had to go a little bit higher. I had to give you another one just to make it a bit safer. It's still easy to get in and out, though. Um, I've done it a few times when you don't have that lovely little cap and you miss, catch your bum or catch your foot yeah. coming back out. But so yeah. on the cab then, first thing that I kind of do like here <laughs> is my armrest here, my little uh, creature comfort. You um, are looking very comfortable in now, I would say. Yeah, well, it's very mo very important when you are yeah. in the cab like this. That, yeah. Well, sometimes you spend more hours in that seat yeah. than you do in your own bed, so yes. you need to be comfortable. So they've slightly changed this a little bit. Uh, it seems to have kind of moved uh, slightly to the right. Well, um, it's to me like it's, it's a little bit tighter on this side, but then we've more room to accommodate yeah. the armrest. So compared to say like a 741, this cab is wider and longer, giving you a bit more space in there. So we can have things like an armrest now, and the seat pad is slightly bigger as well, giving a little bit more comfort for the operator inside. Okay, the cab. plenty of storage in the back as plenty well. Plenty of storage in the back here. Yeah. Um, you could get a lunch box. You could get a few days worth of lunch in the back there, probably along with some tea you would, as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're in here yeah. for a while now. You'd yeah. be, you'd be, uh, you yeah. wouldn't go hungry anyway no. if you filled up that space yeah. again. Yeah. The um, electric, the electric window, window, which well. does go to the... Yeah, right all the way down. So whether you want to have it open or closed, you're in control. You don't have to worry about a piece of glass swinging around out the back out of the way. Um, yeah, it keeps you a nice little safe environment, clean and dry inside. Right, now getting back to um, visibility around the yeah. cab as regarding camera yeah. systems on that, are, that can run through the yeah. screen. How many can we run through this? So you can have up to three cameras on this machine. Currently, this one we have here today, we've got a side camera and a rear camera. But you can also have a boom head camera, so you can have a view of what you're loading and tipping down into. So as soon as you get up to 25 degrees, 
camera automatically comes in, you get a lovely clear view, you hit reverse and a reverse camera comes back in. Okay. Any time you want to, you can change between either. You can scroll. Cameras. You can scroll through the two of them, or three of them, I should yeah. say. Yeah, it definitely is very, very compact. But everything again. Yeah. I mean, we we have these at home, so we yeah. know exactly how how so they work. But uh, it's a funny looking stick, but your hand falls perfectly on it, and everything's by your fingertips. It just, on your it, just it just works. That's just all. Works. It. it just works. Yeah, no, yeah. it's very, very simple. Again, sun visor here. The sun is shining yeah. down in the plow match, which is unusual. But uh, yeah, it's good cracking morning <laughs> down here. We have okay. these. We have this very simple sun visor here, which we can take on and off there. Yeah. Clip the bin wherever you want. Uh, again. Plenty of vision, it's probably one thing that the managers have. The fact that you do sit up higher too on this machine, you have good all round vision on them behind left and right. So yeah. uh, it's, uh, yeah, no, it's a cracking machine, I have to say. I'd say they should, they should go very well for you. Hopefully so, yeah. Well, listen, thanks very much for uh, your, all your, your information <laughs> on the machine and uh, best of luck at the plowing. Thank you very much. Thanks, See Anthony. You Thank you. Take care. Yeah, other than that, now we had a had yeah, a, yeah, had a mashing day. Yeah, a good old day, I have to say. I know it's tough going there, walking through the muck and that, but uh, in fairness, the weather was very kind to us today. Yeah. I think I'll got a little bit sunburned there, can I? I even have a t-shirt on. I do, so. yeah, have a t-shirt on. So, that just shows. Uh, we're going to head back now to the Jeep. If we ever get out of the place, yeah. um, one the forward drive on. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Before this video ends, I just want to give you all a pat on the back there. Just a gentle one. Um, we've reached 15,000 subscribers, thanks to you guys. We provide the videos. You provide the subscribers, so thanks very much for that. And uh, yeah, 15 is a big milestone, I and mean, now we'll push to 20. So if you haven't subscribed, could you please, please subscribe? Thank you. Sorry for not posting last week, and uh, just kind of got caught up doing a few different things, and it just didn't just happen. Anyway, uh, a few technical difficulties, and yeah, so. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe now. Keep her, keep her going now. And uh, yeah, from everyone here at Finnegan's Farm, we'd just like to thank you all again and see you all next week. Good luck.